All right, so real quick before I get started on the spending part of things, I just wanted to jump on really quickly and just say, you know, I just hit 100 subscribers, and to most people, that's not a lot. Uh, but to me, it means the whole world that, you know, enough people care to watch and see what I got going on and just help me track this journey, and everyone's been super supportive, and it's been really nice. So I just want to say thanks for that. I appreciate it more than I think any of you know. On to the spending. So I am going to try out a new format here, as you can see, for taking a look at my spending for the month. So let me know if you love it, if you hate it, whatever. <laughs> let me know. Um, so what I did was, I don't know if you know you can do this, but in YNAB they have spending reports and you can export them into other things. Because I always have such a hard time like tracking numbers in YNAB, so I wanted to be able to, you know, color code a little bit. So I took January, February, March, pulled it out highlighted some stuff I wanted to focus on, here we are. So, uh, since we were kind of out of commission as far as videos went in the month of March, I thought I would tag in and just do like a little bit like how I spent my money, where everything went, how in budget or out of budget we were, and what our averages are looking like for the year. So, if you want to stick around, see what it looks like to live uh, me and my girlfriend and our cat in a two-bedroom apartment in New York City, uh, these are my numbers. So. Um, the, the blue highlight at the top are categories, category totals, and then these are just like subcategories. So, uh, March 2023, rent was, I paid 12.35. As you can see, that's up because we redistributed how we, how we do that. We've got Verizon, which is my phone plan that I pay to my brother-in-law. Um, I didn't know that. That's going to go down when the phone part is paid off, I think coming up soon. So that's nice. Um, the average is the same on that because it's what it is. It's 120 a month. Um, Con Ed um, paid 57 this month. We're trying to keep it as down low as possible. That's working out now. But come summertime, it's going to go up pretty drastically. So keeping it down now is good. This is just um, my half. So like our rent total is like just shy of 2000 The Verizon is just part of a family plan. Con Ed, this is my half. So it's everything times two, basically. Um, the Fios, we are lucky that um, when, we, when we first signed up for it, uh, Verizon gave us some gift cards towards it, so we don't have to pay that for like several months because I just put those gift cards right onto the bill. Um, groceries, last month we spent 331 Our average is 318 That's, yeah, it looks like, well, okay, so my average, again, this is my portion of it. We split groceries as well. Um, household stuff has been a banger of a category this in, in the last couple months. Uh, 274, 74. Um, we, I, I kind of use this, I might have to break this category out a little bit more because I kind of use it as a catch-all for any things for the household, which is like things for our actual home, like our apartment, paint or um, furniture or anything like that, which again, I got a work from home job, so I had to buy some stuff. Um, but it's also household stuff, like, this month, part of this 274, I put, I got a JetBlue credit card to earn airline miles, and that has an annual fee, um, and I put that in here, because that's kind of a household thing. You know, I it's kind of a catch-all right now, maybe I need to break it out a little bit. I don't know, how do you break down your household stuff, because I don't, I'm kind of losing track of this. Well, I don't even know what this money was. Um, personal care, last month, 875 it varies, average of 23, uh, this is like toothpaste and deodorant, so uh, the 875 lotion that we bought in California while we were traveling, um, <laughs> you know, so, yeah. Uh, date night, 125.01, we only really went on one, like, one solid, like, regular date with just us in March, it looks like, that's not great, but uh, it was our anniversary, and then we were traveling for a bit, quite a bit of it, so that kind of makes sense. Um, average of 248.13, that's not a bad, that's not a bad average. Uh, Harvey Boy is our cat, uh, he's pretty great. 33.40 last month, 30 and some change, she was pretty on par. 40, just under 45 for the average, so that makes sense. Haircut, 40, I should be going every month, I never do, I always complain about it. I need to go more, sorry, to myself, and everyone has to look at me. Um, <laughs> Average, see, average is 2667 because I don't go every month like I'm supposed to. Um, clothing. This is a category I don't spend in a lot, but I need to spend in more because I don't have a wardrobe that reflects what I want to do. Uh, especially now, I'm working from home, so I don't have to have, like, work uniform stuff anymore. 
so I can really get a comfortable wardrobe for like I can have a work conference in May and I want to look nice for that but I don't need to look so like I'm in a uniform in a store at work you know so my average is 98 99 for these three months but that just because I did a lot of spending before we went on vacation uh, transportation I used to have a commuter benefit for work where I would uh, pay for my I live in New York City so pay for my metro card uh, on my paycheck so this is, has never really been a big expense for me, but now that I'm working from home, I don't think I'm going to need an annual like monthly Metro card anymore. So I'm probably going to actually be using this category quite a lot more. Right now, I'm only using it when I go to visit my girlfriend's parents in Connecticut, which I will be doing in April. So that'll come up too. Um, reimbursement, that's just an inflow outflow category that I use for when I give people money for stuff. <laughs> so it should be at zero every month turnover. So we're looking good so far. Um, subscriptions. These are pretty steady. Um, my Hulu, fourteen ninety nine every single month. I get the no ads because I want it. Um, <laughs> renters insurance. Uh, I have a decent amount of coverage for our apartment. It's about twelve fifty a month through Lemonade. Um, my pet insurance. I did just switch to an annual versus a monthly. So obviously you can see here it was monthly here, and then it swapped over to an annual one because this is cheaper than paying twelve dollars a month. You know. Uh, so there's that's coverage on my cat just in case anything happens to him. It's like a $500 deductible or something uh, Get pet insurance. I had a an ex-girlfriend of mine whose pet had a, like a tragic in-home accident uh, Something fell on her and she broke her leg and it cost like six thousand dollars to do surgery And it was it was she had a metal plate in her arm It was a whole thing, but you know, she was a really young cat who had a really good quality of life So it'd be terrible to not do that just because you didn't have the money. So pet insurance um, I cloud storage I take crazy amounts of photos on my phone and I like to just not think about it and know that they're not going to go away but also know that I don't need to keep them all on my device. <laughs> uh, vices, here we go. Tickets, again, not spending enough money on tickets to things. We need to go see more stuff. Uh, booze, 8186, and again, this these, like, let's take it with a grain of salt because we were traveling so I drank a lot more than $81 worth. It's just all down here, you know? Um, <laughs> Ordering food, 183.82 this month. Trying to keep it low because we were high in February, but we'll see. Uh, and then fun money, that's mostly buying seasons of Parks and Rec on Amazon. Did you know they took it off Netflix or Hulu or whichever? Oh, we don't even have Netflix. It's, it's, it's not on Hulu. That's rude. Okay, so Vision. I this is actually a, a positive. I, this is a refund. I ordered some glasses last month here, and the shipping was kind of whack, and so they refunded me because it took way too long, and they didn't get here in time for my trip. So that's a refund, actually. Um, gifts was my sister's birthday. Got a little, a little something. And then I keep having to go to the freaking dentist. Twenty six fifty this year. That's too much money. I'm, you know, getting my dental health right, fine. But God, that's a lot of money. Um, and then vacation. This is, you know, obviously all spent in one month, but saved up for over time. I do a lot of my vacation savings in another budget. I save for it off budget, and then it just comes on when I make the expense, so that's why this is here, but it's actually fine. We're negative a thousand, but it's because I was saving that money up over time and just not spending it until now. So that's that. Let's take a look at this. I like to look at this because I think it gives me a good, just a quick overview of where my stuff is going, right? So is my spending reflecting my values, you know? So over the last three months, it looks like 45.8% was spent on staying alive just money spent on doing things that keep me moving through this world. That's, I, I value that. Um, these are my adulting things. So that's dental. This is crazy how much money I spent at the dentist. Oh my God. A little bit on vision finally, which is fine. It's just crazy to me. Um, vacation being 13% of my spending does make me happy. I like to travel. I like to do things. Spend time with my family. Savings, 10% of my total. Um, I've spent out of my savings for things that I was saving up for. That, that's good too. <laughs> uh, my vice is 9.9%. Eking up there. Trying to fight here. Keep an eye on that. And then my subscriptions are a very, very small amount of my total life spending, which again, I love. I've canceled a lot of subscriptions over the last year, so I'm glad to see that reflected in the overall budget. So yeah, that's my spending. That's where my money went in March. Let me know if you want to see anything else. Thanks so much. Have a great day.